Hey folks, it's me, Michael Bach, your Diversity Dude, and this is Monday Morning Musings. Happy Monday, everyone. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Happy Father's Day to all the dads, daddies, papas out there. Uh, I spent the weekend with my dad and I posted pictures on my social media platforms at Diversity Dude MB if you'd like to see what I got up to with that. Uh, I wanted to talk about something that has been coming up in the news lately and I'm going to share down below a few links to articles. Um, uh, just as an example, uh, the um, New York City American Museum of Natural History, which has been around for decades, uh, has decided to take down the statue of Theodore Roosevelt. And we've had examples uh, here in Canada of similar um, incidents uh, where, like, as an example, there has been a call to rename Dundas Street here in Toronto because Mr. Dundas was mm, a slave owner. And there's been a lot of complaints from people saying, oh, we're trying to rewrite the history. And this happened actually this past weekend. Um, uh, there's been a lot of outcry with NASCAR and no longer allowing the Confederate flag. And, and there's been a lot of cry like, oh, we're going to rewrite history, blah, blah, blah. And, and the trumpet is making lots of noise. But that's not what we're trying to do. We're not trying to rewrite history. We're trying to rewrite the future. People don't seem to understand that these things become symbols of something. To people who like Teddy Roosevelt, he's a symbol of freedom. To people who know the history of Teddy Roosevelt, he's a symbol of colonialism and racism and slavery. It's not to say we're going to make the good parts of Teddy Roosevelt disappear. But we have to start telling the whole story. In Canada, John A. Macdonald, we need to tell the whole story. Yes, he was the prime minister that brought this country together. He built the railroad from one side to the other. But to do it, he used Chinese labor that were then forced into slave encampments. We can't forget that history. But we also need to do a better job of making sure that we live in a society that doesn't remind people constantly that we once oppressed them. Think about it. That's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to subscribe to my channel and click on the link to find out when I'm going to post a new video because it's like every Monday. And also like the video and share it with your friends. If you like your friends, if you don't like your friends, share it with them too. Um, and I'm really excited to talk about something that I don't know if I can talk about. You know, I'm just going to wait. Next week, there'll be another a little surprise because I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about it. Um, remember to connect with me on social media. I'm at Diversity Dude MB and connect with CCDI there at CCDI Social. Uh, also, check out the podcast, Talking to Canadians, uh, available wherever you get podcasts, as well as Talking to Canadians.ca. I think that's all. I should make a list really one of these days. I will have a fantabulous week and I'll see you next week for another episode of Monday morning musings. Bye.